true that he was kind of um, said he was, let's say, a bit lazy in the past? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say lazy. It's just Christian had a lot of back injuries, and he was always afraid that if he trained too hard, that he would re-injure his back. And so this year, we basically we've had a chiropractor at every single race, every single day of competition, all year long, every single training camp, whatever. So we, you know, and I said to him, you know, listen, we'll have a chiropractor there for you always. But you have to really train hard, and so we took a risk, you know, that maybe he'd re-injure his back, but that he's actually pushing himself each and every day now. So, again, hopefully it works out. When you raced with him in the end of the 90s, 2000, would you, have you thought that he could be a top 10 rider in the Tour de France? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. sure. He's, he's always had the talent. He's always had the talent to be a top 10 rider in the Tour de France. He's always had the talent to be a top 3 rider in the Tour de France. You know, and maybe in the right circumstances, a little bit of luck. He'll be a rider in the top one of the Tour de France. We definitely need some luck for that, though. That was sort of where I was going to lead in with the question. Uh, you came to this race with the hopes of seeing Christian in the top ten. Uh, as the race has progressed, he's, it's become clear that he can make a top ten, top five, and now the podium and perhaps more is within reach. Uh, with no ex perhaps no external expectations coming into the race, has, has the pressure been mounting within the team? I and mean, do you feel now, maybe a, is there a little more stress than there was at the beginning of the race? No, actually, yesterday we seemed to be pretty chill. I mean, you were there. Like, I, I think the mood of the team is actually pretty chill. I mean, today is going to be tense once we're in the race, but we're keeping it. We're keeping the tense. You know, we're, we're keeping that on the bike. The nervousness on there we're not you know it doesn't seem to be spilling over into you know into dinner time and massage time whatever and, that, and that's key because that's wasted energy when you're nervous sitting around watching tv is there any possibility i mean obviously of the six guys in gc right now there are more or less there are three very strong climbers and three guys who can climb and also time trial mm -hmm. uh csc's got the numbers is there any possibility of seeing a little bit of collaboration with Christian, Manchoff, Evans, because uh, they have a common interest to try to contain CSC? Yeah, no, I mean, I, w I would think so, but I mean, we'll have to see out on the course, you know. Um, yeah, but I mean, I would think so. The, you know, as strong as Menchov is on the climbs right now, it seems that that might throw a little spanner in the works, but, uh, but we'll see. We'll see today. We'll see the first evidence of whether that collaboration starts to occur or not today. If you're Bjarne Reese, are you playing the Sastra card, the Frank Schleck card, or is it really going to, could I it just be a roll of the dice? You both have to either one of those riders has to gain you know a lot of time and I, I think you know obviously he's got to sort of attack with both of them and see which one actually gets away and then hope that that one that gets away gets enough time to hold in the time trial but um you know yeah so that's i don't know today's gonna be interesting with the long descent into the finish um you know because both frank and um and carlos have you know they're whatever not not always the greatest descenders but i mean you know, but then, I mean, a descent can be dangerous for anyone. So I guess it's just, like, it's going to be interesting. Like, the last 25K in a descent like that, so that's a little scary. 53-kilometer time trial on Saturday. How much time does Christian need on Cadell, on Menshoff, on these guys from CSC to uh, to win the overall? I don't think he needs any time on Sestra or, or Schleck. Um, you know, I don't think he... Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we got to see with Menchov, but typically, I don't think he'd need any time on Menchov either. Um, on Cadell, you know, typically he would need a little bit, you know, I don't know, 20 seconds. But I, you know, I don't. I don't. You never know. I mean, a 53k TT like that, you know, slightly downhill and at the end of a race. I mean, you just never know. Like what? I mean, guys are going to have great legs. Guys are going to have shit legs. I mean, you just, you, it's, it's hard to predict, you know, at this point who's going to be good and who's not. So.